Blessings Lafayette family and Facebook friends, my daily message for Saturday, November 26th. And I remind you, lots of great stuff is available at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. And join us every Sunday at 1030 in this beautiful sanctuary for worship. Or you can worship virtually or by drive up. Come worship with us. My scripture today is Matthew chapter 6, verse 14. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. This is the word of the Lord. Now I've heard it said that forgiveness is rather like correction fluid. Remember that little white bottle that we used to use to correct our typing? Well, if we have transgressed the correction fluid as it covers up type, the forgiveness of Jesus Christ can cover up our sins. Now, there is still a mark, there's still a residue. Our sins are not without cost, but the forgiveness of Christ can obliterate them and paint right over them. And this goes for the forgiveness we give others. No, it doesn't erase any wrongdoing that they may have given or done. It doesn't mean that if they've hurt you or betrayed you or broken relationship with you, that they deserve forgiveness. No, they don't necessarily any more than we do. But we can put our stamp of forgiveness there's still a residue, of course. But isn't it wonderful to know that we can start a clean slate, that there can be a new story, that there can be new songs, new words, new poems, new joy. Remember, one of the keys to the Christian life is forgiveness. So let's spread a little bit of that correction fluid around. Oh, by the way, did you know that Dr. Carl Menninger, one of the most famed psychiatrists of the 20th century, once said that if he could convince the patients in psychiatric hospitals that their sins were forgiven, 75% of them could walk out that day. The power of forgiveness in your life, in mine, in the lives of those around us. Let us pray. Lord, may we be liberal, spreading correction fluid around, even as you have done so in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.